Okay, welcome to another um, technical uh, tutorial video for my newly uh, set up YouTube channel. Just want to check the mic level here. Um, basically, um, just explaining today uh, VTiger, just a workflow I implemented in VTiger. VTiger is one of the open source uh, CRMs that are out there. Um, so basically, this is something you can host on your own on your own server, um, whether that's an on-prem server or a cloud server. Uh, I was using it for many years and uh, then went into SaaS CRM land. My business for those curious is uh, technical, well, te not technical, but really working for technical clients. So uh, writing services, uh, specifically thought leadership. I'm, hopefully the website will look a bit different by the next time I make one of these. Uh, that's what I do and I always like to do stuff that scales and that uses automation wherever possible and try to cut down on grunt work so certainly one grunt work activity i engage in is um doing stuff that does not scale as you say now some people say do stuff that doesn't scale that's a, that's a, that's a motto i kind of have always been on the other side of the motto which means that my systems tend tends to get better as i get busier um i like to kind of think of these things before the fact so recently i built out this uh documented this in my blog i have a blog blog post up here about creating a custom module in zoho to send clients work so i have a few clients that i'm doing articles for and articles are the kind of most basic modular projects uh in my service offering and these to me seemed like the most logical ones to uh to build out a basic automation for so what i did is this i set up a few workflow rules um to just kind of reflect the workflow and save myself from sending out these emails saying your article's ready there's been a delay this is a new date um so i created three um i've done this project before in vtiger but uh, this is just to show this is just just to show the, the functionality i'm replicating uh one was article status update so that's when you know i created statuses saying system capture in progress draft one draft two etc telling them basically where their article is in my workflow, new delivery date is if the delivery date that I set, the estimated delivery date changes, that'll tell them, you know, your article is delayed, your article, etc. Um, and file delivery would be the one that says your article's ready, click the link to download it. So I, that I can use to avoid having to send attachments if I'm doing stuff like Google Drive shares or sending it through, I use another uh, open source uh, document management system. Uh, project sent the name was just evading me for a second so I can use project send put that in their account get the public link um, and drop that link into this workflow um, so that it's a it's a custom module in Zoho and I'll just explain why I'm interested why I was interested in doing this in VTiger because um, VTiger didn't work with my old host they did not like the they did not like it and uh, as a result I left it and this new host I'm using a host called Vero Tech Systems on their reseller hosting plan, um, VeroTech.net. Highly, highly recommend them. They've been fantastic so far. Um, so they were they had no problems using um, VTiger with VeroTech. Haven't run into any issues with cron jobs or stuff like that. Um, so really, uh, keeping Zoho going. I'm paying forty five bucks a month for it. Um, just to have this little workflow seems a bit stupid to me. Uh, very easy to spend hundreds of dollars on SaaS services every month. And, uh, you know, if you have one, I would say a CRM is obviously useful if you have a whole team of people working on accounts, lead generation and stuff like that and a lot of accounts. But for this workflow to send stuff to three three or four clients just seems a bit uh, unnecessary. So the, the point I'm saying is that the custom modules, if you are looking at that, just be aware that it's only on the enterprise tier. That's their top tier of the CRM and that costs $45 a month. By all means, if you're, if you're working with a lot of clients and you're using this module tens of times per day, it would certainly be useful and it did work nicely. So I built out this custom module in Zoho. I then filled it up with the, the fields I talked about, the download URL, expected delivery date. These are all custom fields. Um, now, I created a lookup to the account level of Zoho. And that's where I created another custom entity called account manager email. Um, so what I do basically is for each account I am setting up, this is just the lookup. I create a account manager email. So that would be a Google group in which I um, add myself. It's a Google group, so you're automatically added. So this is a really nice way. Most CRMs have this functionality of um, 
BCCing you on client communications. I think implementing it this way at this level is a little bit more elegant uh, because you don't you don't rely on what the CRM has, what the ERP has in order to get those notifications. Everything sent to this account management email you get a copy of. So this is just something I picked up. You see PR agencies do this all the time. They'll have an they'll have an they'll set up a, an email address for their client and that'll go to the client and all the account manager and the associate account manager, uh, etc. So that's how this works and I created a lookup to an associated account. Um, these are the workflow rules I showed earlier and this is the logic that they work to in Zoho. So basically um, you know, whenever the field, the article status, I update that so long as it doesn't contain delivered because that's a separate workflow. System capture is something I use myself when basically I have a field that I add in, you know, I want to create um, entities, articles in the CRM and I don't want those to start sending email notifications, right? So that is why I added one of my pick list values as system capture and pick list is the Zoho, is the VTiger terminology. It's called something else in Zoho. So that's what that is there for. And suppress client notification. Um, this would be for when I, um, if it's again, if it's something that I don't want to send to the client by means of these notifications, uh, that is what I will use. Um, so that's like kind of a block you could say and this just this condition checks for that block being not selected and if it is selected obviously this will prevent the workflow from going further and then it sends out those emails so this was what i did uh, these are the emails this is like the kind of raw appearance i then put that into a template just you know greeting the account um and then telling them that the article's been finished and you can download it by clicking the link it's extremely simple um but uh it was effective um, and this is just my little system, how it looked in uh, in real life in Zoho. You can see the article name, the download link. Um, this could be basically, um, just as, this is just to save sending attachments and stuff like that. So um, cool script, usually I'm doing this actually as a Google, Google Drive, you know, creating a shareable link. Project Send is, an, is another nice open source script. If that's what you're into, you host it again on your, on your server and you can drop deliverables into a uh, into a client account, configure them to actually, sorry, probably bit not to have notifications because you'll notify them this way and put the download link there. So that's another way to do this. Uh, and as I said, this, once it's associated with an account, that lookup in Zoho will send it to the account manager email uh, and not it, that custom field I set up and not all the other ones. And then in current status, I populated it with just about every conceivable status a project I'm working on could have, uh, ranging from brief decline, additional information needed, draft four, etc. Um, and that was it. So then they got these lovely emails and this worked great. But I said, given as I said that I'm subscribing to Zoho just to get a just to get this functionality, let's see if we could get this running in VTiger. So I'm gonna now drop over to this screen. Um my V Tiger setup. So it's not as elegant, I will be honest. Um, if we go into our CRM settings here, look into modules. This I did not do this by creating a new module. What I did was build it on top of tasks, if I can find tasks, project tasks. Um, so what I did was as follows. So at the organization level, um, I this is just obviously a test account called Daniel Industries. Um, this primary email is where I'm putting in those account manager emails. So that's an email for the organization. And what I did then was I um, created these custom fields. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. My uh, Zoho skills are going blank on me. Module, module layouts and fields. So within tasks, because tasks seem to me to be the most obvious related field, right? This is designed for capturing really stuff like uh, client deliverables and projects and tasks as the name suggests. So I created again, a bunch of custom fields um, within tasks and I'm kind of just hiding all these default ones with more or less the same information that I had in Zoho, your download URL, article title, brief, um, I haven't quite finished uh, putting in all these fields because I'm just seeing if this is really gonna actually, it does work, but if it's, if it's something I wanna stick with. Um, so that was it. So I have, and then article status is, sorry, article stage actually should be in this group. Um, 
um, and that is uh, that is basically it. So let me just see if I can uh, figure out a way to save this because I have been this uh, this layout is not is a little bit little bit buggy. Um, but anyway, that's so those are where I created the modules, and then in Zoho, this functionality is located within uh, workflows. So if you go into automation and you go into the third one, scheduler is a good place to check that your cron jobs are running as they should be and workflows is where you can create the actual workflows so vtiger comes with a bunch of these default workflows which i've all disabled they're designed for really typical crm use cases in other words telling people you can see send email to user when notify owner is true um i don't want any of the default built-in stuff i've just turned on i've just created the same three so let me just duplicate this tab and uh, let's take a look at for example article delivery uh, and I'll just show quickly, then I'll, then I'll just wrap this up uh, to show how you can achieve the same functionality more or less in Zoho, um, as you, uh, sorry, in VTiger as you can in Zoho. So this is the one that I was using, that I'm using for article delivery. And it's very simple. I don't have the suppressed thing. I just have when the article stage has changed to delivered that the workflow actions are, you can, you can update fields, you can create new records, custom functions or an SMS task. I just have this email. Um, and as you can see, I put myself in BCC, um, but as I said, that's not really necessary given uh, given the the fact that I'm. This is typically this is this is calling from, and if I can just go into this template, this is calling from um, account the account level email. Sorry, organization. So related to. So basically, it knows what the top level, the organization level is, and then you can just create their organization name. So I can say dear, etc. I could also create, you know, a, a different uh, entity within organization for a salutation, so that it wouldn't just say dear. You know, might want you might want to say dear, blah blah, account management team, um, and that's it. And you can basically build a custom. So let me just show you this. Um, you can put a custom field as the link. So this is, I created one, one of the fields I, uh, that I created was the field for download URL. And um, I can put download here and overlay that as a hyperlink and just to, just put protocol to other and put in copy and paste the custom field identifier. CF is for custom field into URL and click okay. And that will, that will make, you know, that hyperlink a, um, a, a downloadable one and again this is kind of pre-formatting so you can by all means uh, upload a nice html template into your source view and just pull in all this information there as well that's basically it i'll just show i'll just show you one more before i end this uh that uses just one a couple more a couple more fields so the uh, article status updater i have three conditions actually on this one and these you put them in the first one all conditions must be met and not in the second one so you have all or any options for the workflow condition setting this one art, article stage is not system entry i don't want as i said i don't trigger it when i just capture them um the articles it triggers whenever the article stage has changed but it will also that article stage article stage cannot be delivered in, in order than that they don't get duplicate notifications because this delivered workflow will send um and that's where as i said i have currently put this very basic uh, skeleton template as well so that's it this was basically the process of um creating some uh, workflows in uh, vTiger CRM hosted on my own website um, in order to send deliverable updates to clients. You can achieve this in other CRMs, SaaS cloud hosted CRMs managed by a third party provider. But you know, if you're, uh, you might just like self hosted CRMs or might have another reason, but this is how that workflow can be achieved. Hope this was of some use. Um, always feedback is good. Uh, this is my website, danielrosehill.co.il. Uh, you can complete a contact form uh, and get in touch with me. So until next time.